Hey everyone, this is a commit, uh, kinematics example. A car travels along a straight road with the velocity time function illustrated. What is the significance of the graph above the t-axis and below the t-axis? So that's what we're going to do first. So above the, if it's above the t-axis here, so this area here, if it's above, it means the velocity of our function t is positive. If it's below the t-axis, it means our velocity of t is negative. All right. Now what we have to do is find the total distance traveled by the car and the final displacement of the car from its starting point. So before we begin, uh, we know that um, to do the displacement and the distance, we know that our displacement is S of T. And if it's above the graph, it's going to be positive. And if our velocity is uh, positive, that means we are moving, the car is moving forward. Or you could say to the right. If it's below um, the t-axis, then that means the car is moving, this is your motion, moving backwards or to the left. Alright, so the next thing we want to do is find the total distance and the final uh, displacement. So for this, um, we know that this area, these two areas are displacement. So I know that um, looking at this, that my displacement is the integral of Vt dt. However, in this problem we don't need to use it because you know that this is the area. So we already have this area here, this area here, and these are both trapezoids. So just to find the total distance, we just need to uh, add up the two areas. So I'm going to use the area of a trapezoid and um, we're going to get for the first area that's going to be A plus B. So we can call this um, A is the longer side. So that's going to be uh, 0 0.3 plus B. This, is, this length here is 0 0.1 times uh, one-half, or you can divide this by two, I'll just put the one-half here, times your height, and your height is 60. All right, so this is going to be, let's call this your S, or let's just call this your distance. All right, and then we're going to add, because we want this total distance here, from here to there. Um, do the same... Um, for the second piece. So that's going to be one half. And again, we're going to have, uh, if you do the B, this is uh, 0 0.1 plus 0 0.3. And the height, if you look at this height, that is 20. So when you add this up, multiply, you get 30 times, um, let's see, uh, point f um, 30 times 0.4, which is going to be 12, plus, and this is going to be 10 times 0.4, which is just 4. So this equals 16 uh, kilometers. So that's your total distance. Now remember your total displacement is going to be, um, remember the car is moving forward, and then it's moving backward. So all you do for that is subtract. So you're taking your S, 
that's your total that's your displacement and you copy down the same formula and in this case we're not going to add we're going to subtract because remember the car is moving backwards and then forward so we want to find the final displacement of the car from its starting point so that's just going to be 12 minus 4 which equals 8 and that's it uh, thank you oh you put kilometers here and that's it Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.